Insight Stu Peters. I did a video looking at controlled opposition as it was, and I think this person's name might have come up. He's fairly mainstream, but he is what you would call a alternative medium. Does he do all the same hand gestures? Yep, yeah, there we go. Nice one. Cup in the eye, the one-eyed symbolism with Stu Peters. Once you get to recognize these sort of things, it should tell you everything you need to know about Stu Peters. So when he brings a video out, was it called Died Suddenly? The reason I mention this is because I did see a couple of stories. It seems to be this is the way it's going. I came across this story, a 22-year-old goalkeeper dies suddenly. It's just interesting that they choose to cover this. They don't give you a cause of death on this one. But I just thought it interesting. They highlighted it. They certainly want these numbers involved in their stories for whatever reason. At the moment, another thing they want involved in their story, this death of a teenager three weeks after jab. Hundreds, thousands of people must die within a relatively close period of time to take in some treatment or another. It's curious that they're all of a sudden questioning the safety of these things, something that for a long time, if you happen to say it on a live stream like this, you could be pretty confident that that video would be removed because you were going against the World Health Organization. And that would be the reason I had a lot of videos shut down even though I only ever shared nothing more than my actual opinion but that didn't seem to matter now however it is it's out for the press to start releasing these stories and any of these news stories is there a button where you can hit flag for medical misinformation that's the other one that they like to throw at you if you mention anything on these lines then they have that option doesn't seem to affect the Daily Express though. They can report it whenever they want. When they want you to know how dangerous any product might or might not be, they'll want to do it on their terms. They want to do it on their time. They don't want some clown on YouTube coming out with this stuff. They want it to be presented through their selected sources such as Stu Peters. I would put him on par with Alex Jones and David Icke. The information they're sharing might be of relevant, but there's always an agenda. So I won't be listening to too much someone like this has to say. That's my opinion. Yours may vary, but I would just say watch out when the same people that you've been calling out as a liar for the last at least two years, when they suddenly start telling you what you want to hear, don't automatically start believing them or trusting them. That's my call on that one. Will you be watching it? It would probably make interesting viewing. I mean, personally, I know people that have died very suddenly in the last few years. So I'm not saying the subject isn't of truth, but when they want you to know about it, it'll be on their terms. That's all I'm saying. I um, would like to take the time to thank anyone who has tuned in today. If you would like to support this channel, there's a couple of things you can do. Simply hit the thumbs up button that is one way subscribe if you're not already and if you want to share this video over on social media you've always got that option another way you can check me out over on patreon i would like to express my thanks to linda mack who supports me over there my one and only faithful supporter thank you linda if you want to do likewise scan the qr code or look for my details in the description to this video